This is a simple video on how to check when your disc brake pads are worn out. So take a look into your caliper. Most calipers are open like this. You can see the pads down inside there. So what we've got is the brake piston and then we've got the pad and it's made up of two bits. There's a metal backing and then there's the pad material itself. And then sandwiched in between the two pads is this metal spring that pushes the pads back out. So what we're looking for is how much of that pad material is left. So here we've got the brake caliper and inside there is the piston that pushes the pads out. That's the metal back into the brake pad. Just inside there is the pad material itself. There's the spring in the middle and there is the disc sat in between the two pads. So when your brake pads actually get really worn out, this metal spring in the middle will start rubbing on the disc brake itself and that's gonna cause damage. So you definitely need to replace your pads before that starts happening. You'll know that starts happening because it will make a terrible noise and your brakes won't work very well. So the best way of really taking a good look at these brake pads is to remove them from the caliper itself. So on this SRAM brake, you need to remove this tiny little retaining clip there. Keep an eye on that, they can ping off. And then this is a two and a half mil Allen key just to remove this pin. On some Shimano brakes, it's a split pin that you sort of need to bend the end and then pull out, but it's all pretty simple. So just remove that. So some brake pads will now just pull directly out the top. These ones on these SRAM guides just sort of rock out. So push them towards the front of the bike slightly and the one end comes out. Once your pads are out, don't touch the brake at all. Because if you pull the brake, it's gonna push those pistons out. And that can mean they pop out and you have to then fit them back in and re-bleed the whole system. So just don't touch the brake. So with the brake pads now removed, basically pull them apart. And what you're now looking for is how much overlap you've got of that brake pad in front of that retaining clip. You see it's getting really close there. So I've probably got about a millimeter of brake pad left to wear down before my disc will start touching that piece of that metal retaining clip. So it's definitely time to think about changing these brake pads. Also, I'll check both of them. So that one I know I've got about a millimeter left on. This pad, I slide the clip back onto, and you can actually see there that that is completely worn out and that that spring has actually been touching my disc brake. So yeah, I should have probably replaced these a little bit earlier than I have. I can also see that because this brake pad is worn slightly more than the other one, I haven't actually centered my caliper properly over the disc brake. So one brake pad is worn quicker than the other. Just for comparative purposes, you can see this brand new Shimano brake pad has loads more material on it. It's about two mil compared to the just under one mil on the old knackered brake pad. So there you go, it's a really simple job, keeping an eye on your brake pads. I'll probably just look at them, so every few rides, and then when they're getting close, take them out and just check how much brake pad you've got left and order a spare set in ready. Uh, also, make sure you've got your caliper centered, and there's a video on how to do that, so check that out over there, and click down there for how to bleed your disc brakes. Click on the GMBN logo to subscribe, and give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful.